Good morning. This is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel. And this morning I have a London Broil steak um, that I'm going to put a dry rub on. I'm going to tenderize it. And then I'm going to let it sit in my refrigerator all day. And I will fix it this afternoon. And what a London broil is just a steak. It's a cheaper cut of steak, so it's really pretty tough. And it needs to be tenderized, and it needs to be um, to sit and tenderize for a while. So what I'm doing is I've got, and this is just my own thing, I've got some Grill Mates Worcestershire Peppercorn. It's his Berber, Burger, not Berber, Burger Mix-In, but I, I always use this. I love it. And this is Grill Mates Applewood Rub. This is uh, Weber Steak and Chop. And then I've got some Adolph's No MSG Tenderizer Unseasoned. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a rub for this. And the first thing that I'm going to use is going to be the Adolph's Tenderizer. So I'm going to put two tablespoons of that in here. I'm going to put one tablespoon of the Weber Steak and Chop. Well, I haven't used it so in a while and it's gotten caked together. lot of onions and stuff in here. I can smell it. My onions and garlic. Alright. So I'm going to use one heaping tablespoon of that. One tablespoon of the Worcestershire peppercorn. That's my favorite. I've used the heck out of it. And then Grill Mates Applewood Rub. And then I'm just going to mix all this together. And I know that the meat tenderizer has salt in it, so I'm not going to use any more salt. But I am going to put some coarse ground black pepper in here. Because I love, I just love coarse ground black pepper. And I put about a teaspoon of that in here. I'm just mixing all this up. Alright, and then I'm going to pour some on here. Rub it all on it. Get around the sides. Make sure you get the whole thing coated in this. And turn it over. 
do the other side. Make a lot of mess like I always do. If I had ever cooked and didn't make a mess, I'd just have a heart attack, I think. Alright, and now I have my Jacquard meat tenderizer. And since this is a London broil, like I said, it does need to be tenderized as much as it can because this is a tough and see the let me show you the blades on this see when I push it down those blades come out and you can find I got mine on Amazon and it's J-A-C-C-A-R-D. And see, I put up the rub on here first so it would get down into the um, London broil. I want those seasonings in the steak. Now I'm going to turn it over and do the other side just like I did this side. Ah, oh, that was a workout. Alright, now I'm going to put this in my hefty uh, storage bag, and I'm going to put it in the refrigerator, and this afternoon, or tonight, I will cook it on my New Wave oven, and I'll bring you back when I get ready to do that. Okay, I'm back. I have got my London broil sitting out. Um coming up to room temperature because it's better to cook it that way and I've got four russet potatoes here that I'm going to bake in my new wave oven and I want you to see I'm going to zoom in there I'm going to have to move this but I want you to see up inside the new wave oven do you see the fan up in there it this New Wave Oven does everything. It bakes, it broils, it will do everything. And right now I'm going to use it to bake because it's a <clears throat> warm day outside. And the one thing about this is it does not, the New Wave Oven is it doesn't put off any heat in your house. And on a warm day, that's good because in my oven I would have to cook these for an hour and my house would be so hot but I'm using the new wave and it's not going to be hot so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the top down on here alright and I've got it plugged in everything's ready to go and this is the New Wave Pro. And so all I have to do is I have the little chart here. And let me make sure you can see this. Right here, it's potatoes whole. I can either cook it on the bottom or cook it on the top. But I'm going to cook it on the bottom. And I'm going to go, I know it says 45 to 47 minutes. But I'm going to go 50 minutes. Just to make sure... And plus, this doesn't use near the energy 
or the electricity that my oven does. This is 110 and it's not going to use even nowhere near the electricity that my real oven would. So I'm going to go cook time 50 start. And you can't really hear it. It's very quiet. You can barely hear it. But it's going to be cooking my baked potatoes. And then when I finish with those, when these get done, then I'm going to put my London broil on, on the top. And we're going to see how that turns out. Because um, it's been marinating in that rub. And it smells delicious. So we're going to hope that it turns out juicy. And we're going to have a good dinner. All right, I'll bring you back. Okay, I wanted to bring you back and show you. I've got two ears of corn here. It's summertime. Who doesn't love fresh corn? Or frozen, for that matter. I love corn. So, I've got 10 minutes left on the baked potatoes. So, I'm going to go on and put these on these two ears of corn on here and I paused it so I could get these ready to show y'all and so all I've got to do now is just hit start and it starts back cooking and it's on 10 minutes so after five minutes I'll come back and turn this corn over and we're gonna see how this turns out um, because I don't, I, like I said, I don't do a lot of sh cooking to show y'all on my new wave oven. And, but I really want to get into showing y'all more of it because the new wave oven is really, really a good kitchen appliance that you need to get. Um, but I'll bring you back when I get ready to turn the corn over. Okay, I'm back. Now, the corn is finished and the potatoes are finished. And I've turned the corn over after five minutes. And it's got little charred marks on it. So, I'm going to show you that. But I want to show you that this is very hot all around here. So, when you take this off, make sure you lift it away from you. See the steam? Lift that away from you. And then put it in its little rack. And what I'm going to do with this corn is, I'm going to take one ear, and I want you to see the, let me see if you can see the chard on it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some margarine. I've got two pieces of aluminum foil here. And remember, I've still got to cook the London broil. So I'm going to smear some margarine on here. Get this all smeared with the margarine. Alright, and then I'm going to put some salt and some pepper. Ah, you can't even see me, can you? Hold on. All right. And I'm taking pepper. And then I'm going to wrap this corn up into this aluminum foil. And I'm going to let this sit so it will be warm, still be warm, when the steak is done. So I'm getting ready to put the steak on as soon as I get the potatoes and the corn off of here and I'll bring you right back. Okay, I'm back. Now I've got my London broil that's been marinating for a long time. And I'm going to put this on my new wave. This was with my rub, the different rubs that I've had, that I had here. And I've also used the, um, Jacquard meat tenderizer. And I'm going to put this 
on the top rack of the New Wave oven. Oh. It smells so good. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Alright, so I want this um we're going to say that, and I know, I don't think y'all can see this, but see it says one inch steak. You put it on the four inch, and that's what I have it on. And I'm going to do it um, medium, which is seven to eight minutes per side. And I'm going to do this for eight minutes. So that's the one good thing about this. I'm going to go cook time, 8, start, set it, and forget it. So, in 8 minutes, I'll come, I'll come back over here, I'll turn it over and cook it for another 8 minutes, and when this gets done, I'll let you see, and of course, I'll have to let it sit for a while before I take it out of here. I'm just going to let it sit and get all the juices in together. And then I'll bring you back and we'll see what it tastes like and whether it's done the way that I want it to be. So I'll bring you back. Okay, the steak is done. I'm going to put it on here. And I should have used my tongs, but I didn't. But I'm going to put it on this plate. It is so moist. Oh my gosh. Alright, let me get the top on here. Back on here and move this over some so you can see. Let me make sure you can see. Yes. Now I'm going to tint this for about five minutes. And then we're going to try our steak, well, the London broil, our baked potatoes, and our corn cooked on the New Wave oven, and we'll see how it is. I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm back. So this has been sitting for five minutes. And it looks like all the juices have gone back into it. So, I want you to see that the grain of the steak is going this way, and we want to cut it against the grain. So, I'm going to cut right through here, and I'm just going to cut off a piece. Perfectly done, moist and juicy. Oh. All right, now I'm going to put this piece of steak on my plate right here. And I'm going to Sit this, the rest of it, right here. I'm going to get out my corn. Open up my corn. It's still hot. Mm, mm, mm. And my baked potato. It's still hot. Now, let's cut through the baked potato. <sighs> Look at that. Oh, and I always cut it in half, and this is... Let me get my knife. Hold on one second, y'all. Look at that delicious meal there while I get my knife. Because I definitely want some margarine. In this baked potato. Mm. 
And remember, I've already put margarine on my corn and salt and pepper. So now I want to cut the steak. I want to taste the steak, but I've got to have some A1 on it. And I see that the grain is going this way, so I want to cut it on a diagonal. I hope you can see. I think you can. Now, this is a London broil, which is a very tough piece of meat. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. There isn't anything tough about this. And I did this all in my New Wave oven. Every bit of it. And this is not hard to clean at all. The New Wave oven is not hard to clean. It's very easy to clean. <sighs> wow. I wish you could just see how... Mm, mm, mm. This is perfect. Mmm. It is just falling apart. It is so tender. So tender. Mmm. Let me check out my baked potato. Well, you can see how tender that is. Mm. And I have a perfect meal cooked all in this. Mm. If you like this recipe, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and you have a wonderful night. Bye.